It's a proper standoff here. Well, I think it's pretty much all that Wellers has, has got left now. He made his attack on really the perfect moment with that road furniture through the roundabout the other side, trying to make it so Van Aert got a bit caught up, but it didn't work. Van Aert was straight onto him. Lascano looks like he's just happy to still be in contention and be there with these two. But uh, Wellens now, he's just said to Van Aert, I'm just going to stay in your wheel. You've got to ride us all the way in. And he's just going to try and cling to his wheel and hope for a miracle. Yep. I mean, if the gap was a minute or 30 seconds, these three riders would be rolling through together a little bit just to make sure that at least they've secured a spot on the podium. With the gap at 2 minutes and 27, they can afford to ride at just 35, 30 k's an hour, and that's exactly what they're doing here. They are rolling in to the Flamme Rouge that's going to come in about five or 600 metres time. They'll continue straight, then they will swing left, and then they've got the arrow straight finale here in Kurna, who is going to take the win. Interesting that Lascano's just dropping off the wheel. You do wonder if he's going to wind things up and just try something under the Flamme Rouge. He's out in the wind. They're moving still reasonably rapidly, but just look how tight Velens is to uh, Wout Van Aert at the moment. Well, he's just yeah, really riding on his hip, so not, not riding the wheel. That breeze is coming directly from their left, so that Wellens just sitting and, and not willing to give Van Aert more than half a bike length start. And that's the thing, if he starts in his wheel in the sprint, he's already cooked, he's got to at least go and start next to him, try and anticipate if he can, make it a really long drawn out sprint, see if he can just do anything that might just lead to something completely unexpected. Under one kilometre to go. The finale of Kerner Brussels Kerner is upon us. We head into the finishing straight. Your leaders, Wout van Aert of Team Visma, Lisa Bike, Tim Wellens of UAE Team Emirates, and the Spanish champion for Movistar just dropping off at the back. There is winding up for an early move. Yeah. He goes, he's telegraphed it slightly. Van Aert glances across in a lower gear, fights to get back onto the wheel of Lascano. But in the slipstream here is Tim Wellens. This could be an interesting one, but uh, Lascano is winding this up super, super long. Van Aert gets back onto the wheel of the Spaniard, but Wellens is back in contention as well. The bunch are nowhere to be seen. They're at about two minutes now. We're coming in to the final 400 metres of the second race of opening weekend. What a race this has been, and what a breakaway this has been. Who is going to take the spoils? This is a proper track sprint. Lascano winds things up. Steering in the wheels, though, is well. Van Aert, Wellens... Big acceleration now from Wout van Aert, but Wellens is there too, but I don't think he's got enough. Wout van Aert is going to take this one for the first time in his career. Wout van Aert takes the win in Kurna, Brussels, Kurna, ahead of Tim Wellens. Third place for Ur Lascano, adding yet another glittering prize to his wonderful and rich Palmares.